Greetings from the 2018 NHL Draft in Dallas. I'm Ken Weeb from Post Media along with uh, Mike Trakos. Mike, uh, big news today, Barry Trotz signs on the dotted line with the New York Islanders, five-year deal worth a reported $20 million. Uh, what are your thoughts on the move for Trotz after winning the Stanley Cup? Well, I think this is a huge move for the, long, or for the New York Islanders. I think this, in my mind, solidifies the fact that John Tavares is not going anywhere. I think when you look at Lou Lamorello coming in, Matthew Barzell winning the Rookie of the Year, and now with a Stanley Cup winning coach and Trotz coming there, he's got every reason, aside from the money and aside from the term, which I think is going to figure itself out, to stay where he is. And I think as a number one overall pick, this is what John Tavares wanted all along. There's very few guys who get drafted number one overall, who get traded or who leave in their prime years, um, leave the franchise that took them. And I think John Tavares is looking for some stability and he's looking for an organization that shows itself to be a Stanley Cup contender. And I think in getting trots and like I said, and having these young players that are already taking that step, Long Island's already got two first round picks already this year. There's more and more, more in reasons for John Tavares to stay where he is. Do you think the stability might help the Islanders in free agency as well, making the commitment to a, to a high level uh, NHL head coach as well? Yeah, you know what, uh, with the Islanders, there's still a lot of warts. Uh, their back end needs definitely an upgrade. I think goaltender, um, they're going to have to look for agent wise, whether it's a Carter Hutton who was playing in St. Louis or a Philip Grubauer who trots nose from Washington. I think either of those choices makes a lot of sense because they can't go with the same tandem that they had this year. But you know, even beside that, uh, this is a team that I think in the second half got a lot better than it was in the first half. And with John Tavares there and I think a little bit more stability with Lou Lamorello, we saw what he was able to do in Toronto. You know, a lot of times just the culture change is enough of a change. So, um, I, you know, I'd be really surprised if this gets to July 1st and John Tavares is still a free agent. Thanks very much, Mike. For Pulse Media, I'm Ken Weeb.